everybody and welcome back. So today we are in the Tesla and we have another update. Today we have update 2023.2.12, uh, new software update. We're going to go through and tell you what we got. But before we do, I just want to say thanks again to everyone who has subscribed. Uh, thanks for all the uh, thumbs up, likes, comments. I answer all comments. Uh, so it's all greatly appreciated. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Okay, so basically it says minor fixes. There's really nothing listed here uh, on this um, on this update. Now I'm pretty sure it's mostly is bug fixes, but some of the things from the last time that we had were let's see, I can tell you. Um, do, 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 release notes. This will give us other ones. Uh, yeah, the sentry mode lighting. I didn't have. Uh, I don't believe I had 2023.2.0.5 where it pulses the lighting. Now, I know I had the pulsing of the lighting. I think they improved it uh, and made changes to it. I was reading about it. But there's really nothing in the U.S. new for this update 2.12. Uh, in some other countries, there is where you can do like swipe writing on the keyboard um, and things like that. But this one is bug fixes. So a real minor update, nothing, nothing great, nothing, uh, you know, nothing that uh, that they choose to detail. It does say minor bug fixes and improvements. I don't know what they are. I'm about to go on a ride, so we will uh, make a, I'll do the, the next part of this video after the ride. This way we know if I see anything different, I will take note of it and uh, mention it here in a minute. So I just, I completed the drive. There were no, nothing I noticed. So clearly they were all just bug fixes, um, trying to make features better, which is good. One of the things I love about Tesla is that they, you get these updates so that if there is a small bug or glitch, you get the fix quicker than you ever would in a traditional vehicle because, you know, you'd have to wait for them to make it go to a dealer, make an appointment to go to a dealer to, if it was even updatable, unless it was baked into the, you know, the hardware. This way, everything can be done over the air and they can push, push out these bug fixes. So it's really great. So it was a quick video uh, just to let you know what went on, which wasn't much. Thanks again for everyone for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, ring the alarm bell, drop a comment. I answer all comments and we'll see you next time.